Undoubtedly one of the biggest changes that's happened in our industry over the last 12 months has been the Brexit referendum. We make everything ourselves in our London workshops and day after Brexit the price of wood went up 20% straight away the next day. The challenge for us, particularly here in the UK, is the dive on FX that we've suffered since the EU referendum, which effectively means it's more expensive for us to buy the same products we were buying a year ago. We've continued to sustain our pricing over a difficult period of time since Brexit, and there are challenges ahead on that in terms of how we keep ourselves competitive, um, being a European manufacturer based in mainland Europe where it leaves us in terms of position in, in a world market, it's fairly neutral for us in terms of the effect. But that's assuming you know, we don't suddenly get a situation where we have sort of political and economic meltdown. In that case, obviously, it affects everyone severely. Uncertainty is the biggest thing, the way things are right now. So much is on hold. There's a slight reticence to spend. The early signs are very positive to so all three areas of our business, all three channels we've increased sales in. I think it's interesting to see how our supply partners are dealing with not only the short-term implications of wildly swinging currencies, but also the decisions, judgments, uh, forecasting that they're doing currently as to what impact Brexit will be having on our marketplace. We've got a lot of opportunities coming our way. I mean, we've had Spanish people on the show today, some people from Russia, and they're still keen. So they're not shunning the UK. The one sad thing, worrying thing I've heard is from a few overseas designers who are talking about not being wanted over here, which I think would be catastrophic for this business. If you spoke to any head of interior here, they'd tell you that it's absolutely one of the key things to their business is having different attitudes from different countries and different cultures. The quote we always use is, is make a decision and make it the right decision and Brexit decision has been made whether it's wrong or right the fact is it has been made so let's make the best out of the situation and if we can do that in the, in the design community I think we'll really come out stronger for it because we'll be more agile, more focused and more determined to get things right.